Hello and welcome, and today's date is that of the 28th, a day of September 2020. This video is going to be a risk reward video selling strategy video, and therefore any risk reward is basically within your own for whatever you do, whichever strategies, of course. I'm just going to share what I'm doing. And Robert Hartley, and I know he's commented many times before in the past, or I'll uh, how awesome is this? Please keep doing these videos on Theta. I hugely appreciated. Very interested to know when you're selling. Can you let us know how much of your Theta you're selling percentage-wise when you do sell? I'm going to go a lot more advanced on that. And yeah, we'll still, yeah, for sure. So glad I started uh, buying heavy on the last pullback. I just want, I just want expecting this kind I wasn't expecting this kind of extension thanks for the charts from Chris Coleman you're very much welcome so yeah basically what I'm going to do is go over selling the uh my strategy uh, and, and it's all in the more information box what it, what's in there is how I do it uh one coin against another and theta I trade against a lot of different coins it's and therefore, when the ratios get pretty high one way or another, I will sell. And of course, lately with the market as extended as it has been, it's been selling theta pretty much since like July the 27th. That's when I've been doing pretty much nothing more than selling theta. In fact, uh, a lot of this, my spreadsheets pretty much look like is something like this. And uh, July the 27th in here, you can see... Uh, the last four trades on this cross has been four trades of theta where I sold last 395 gaining 103 of another coin. So the other coin is worth at that point 3.8 times higher, but it's even less than that now. As that's my ne this is the next thing I need to sell theta against is this. And this is all the trades I've had. I've had 41 different cross trades since I started this about a year ago with the first one coming on October the 1st. So this the things I like to do for fun is what I'll do is I'll do stuff like this. As I like to look at this, it's like a seed. So therefore, this May 31st seed, it took forever. Not, nothing in June or July, not a single trade. But the seed planted May 31st where I sold 64 of this other coin and gained 699 theta. Well, on August the 18th, I sold 595, gaining 104, but I gained five on the other side. And this was an aggressive situation where I was like, geez, what's the, I can't remember what I was doing on that day exactly. That was a month plus a week and a half ago. But I normally would have say I sold like 630, 640, but like, oh man, how much do I sell to barely gain more than 64, which is what I did. And every time I sell, it's going to be lower, 525, 470, 395. So the next one's going to be like, what, 330, three and a quarter? Okay, that's just how it goes. So here we got 527 in this here. This is another spot where I sold 70 of this and I got back like 80. So a gain of like nine and a half and a gain of about 70 theta. So I, I like to get as many of these can. I mean, heck, there's a lot of trades in here. How many of these can I get? How about the early trades? I mean, right off the bat, the first one was a, a was a cross that hit. Then we have this this one here. That works. Okay, so what else do we got? I guess these two here work together too as well. So get as many of them that I see can uh, work together now as uh, after this goes all of these are negative theta here like I've gone back to April 22nd but we can take this one here a spot where I guess I did the same thing again where I sold as little as I could on the theta 773 after gaining 852 and only gaining one and a third on the other side and even here same thing 430 and I would have been like okay that's and, I'll, and just get as many of these as possible. There's a spot where I went for the other coin gain. Because on May the 3rd, or March the 13th, I sold 31 other coins, gaining 916 theta. Now, probably why I did this is because I was too lazy, and I don't know why with theta, 
to just take these coins off the exchange and I'm like geez I just I could just sell them all now and just make my gain and gain six and a half all coins almost and I did of course but uh, different things that can be done along the way is just how do you want to trade from what which coin do you want to favor at one point based on situational analysis here and there and there's another one in here where you can just say that's like a, a harvested seed once you uh, uh, get the first one completed then there you go there's a lot more I still want to go through here how about this one does this one work out well not really because I sold 885 and only got 766 so but how about these, this here? No, I'll find some that work. Does this work? Yeah, yeah, another big, another good theta gain because I sold 39, gained 1100 change that I sold 975. So I gained almost 150 on that spot and two of the other coin. Here's another harvest right there. And even here, like there's a big one here. I gained on the other coin here because I only gained 12 theta, but I gained 42 of the other coin. And in here we got this one as well. So, well, can we finish some of these oddballs? Get as few of these as possible on the left hand side, get the fewest amount of unharvested seeds. Speaking, I guess, in farmer talk for trading, I don't know. So let's see here. What do we got? Minus 893. Okay, if we take, say, and I did this, I did this in advance. The answer should be four. So I, I, at least when I did it, the, my practice this beforehand, which is interesting how I'm struggling after I did it better the first time. It was like so much easier. I might, I might took different combos too, so that might be why as well. A couple of them might have been. But what I did with some of them is I turned, well, first of all, we'll take, say, a, a amazing gain trades. This can, uh, let's take, say, this one at random now, which is what I shouldn't be doing. Well, here's a spot where I could do something like, uh, da, da, da. See, so I gained 1348 for 55. Well, here I want to gain more, so something like, say, this even. See, there's a spot where I lost 55, but I gained 56. I lost 920, but I gained 1348. So these are the types of things I'm trying to be able to get within this. So on here, I sold 766, 31, nothing much on that. Uh, I guess there is. I can go like this. This is a huge gate on this one, but I mean, that's not what the target was at the time. And continue on with some more here. Let's. So all of these are now negative theta below and then the two, three up top. Now what I did was turn two into ones for a lot of them. So for this one here, 1221 for negative 65. Well, I could just take this one if I wanted, which just for fun I will. So I might have five unplanted seeds now, or unharvested rather, five planted that are unharvested. And then we'll do the next one. So we have negative 85 and positive 13. So I want to gain more than 85, but spend less than 13 on a combination of two things. Or I could just take the last one, but I'm not going to do that. Or even, in, or even this one here. What I could do is look at the sum of, say, it was 42 plus 42 is 84. So maybe do something like, say, I almost have to take the, one of the lower ones, like say this. Look at that. That's almost the same as that. I don't want to take that. Didn't mean to do that. Back to the spreadsheet. Okay, so if I take this one in here, 837 I lose. Okay, the... 
That would be a gate of, and you know what? The first time I did this, I did it so much better, easier, faster. Usually, I, I, I want to do it to make it f a faster video when I set it up. So these all go together and just, anyway, let's just finish it off and just see what I'm on. Da, 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 da. I suppose I'll just go like that. I mean, the loss of the gain of 1300 and then I sell like 800 change. I get back like 200 there. I mean, that's just a sick trade. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see just on these ones in here. I can see how many theta am I up? And the answer is 2,344. And I've gained 280 coins of the other one in the process on the completed ones. However, if I look for the numbers on these ones here, I've, I'm actually down 400 or so theta because I've spent 227.78. But I've gotten over 400, uh, over 400 of the other coins, 280 plus 137. So that's not uh, too bad overall. And then as these things go through, um, if coin goes up straight to the to the upside in one direction, you're going to be losing on the deal. And with a lot of these coins, I am right now. But short term, long term, intermediate term, I realize there's going to be pullbacks and other coins will have their heydays in the sun as well. Now, going back to the chart. And back in these lower price days. Before this rally even started, before here. So back when it was 1200, 1300, 1400. I, that's where I bought, that's where I bought my thetas. And I, only time I would buy in thetas were just for trading. But I'd like, every time, like, okay, I want to add another cross. Okay, what do I want? Let's, take, let's pick theta. What do I pick theta against? Boom, I pick it with that, yada, yada. And then I just buy theta. But when I bought theta, I did so in a strategic level for what I do is I have like a whole bunch of coins so I have like maybe uh, coin one I might have coin uh, da, 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 da. so you have coin a coin B C D and maybe I'll start off okay I'll give you 1500 theta and I'll get you're, you're a bigger one, so I'll go you 1750. Oh, this is a smaller one, you only get a thousand theta. Uh, you're this was a really big one, I'll give you 2500 theta. And when I say I give it, that means I would buy or have 2500 theta worth of the other asset class, thousand worth, 1750, 1500, and so on and so forth. And then as the trades go on, the numbers go up and down on each coin. So when I add 500 on one, then it will go up 500 and so on and so forth. And among such, I would need to have the coins available for, but I realized I wanted coins for three other reasons. Reason number one is when I lose control of a market, which is what I plan could easily happen. And you know what, in some cases is. And what do I mean by losing control? Well, losing control means, well, let's just say I got 2,500 coins when I started. Well, now I might only have 650. I hate when it does that. But I might only have 650. And my last trade might have been like, I sold like 275 theta. So I sold 275, and now I have 650 on my inventory. Even though technically, I mean, all my coins are in one big hardware wallet, but... But my computer tells me this cross has got this many coins designed to whatever coin. And, that, and then if I go in my next one, let's just say I sell 225. Well, now this number will go down to 425. And you can see I'm starting to lose control of how many theta I got for future sales. So by having additional theta standby, I have this and I had thousands more or a bunch more, whatever. And among such, I can then when I need be add some here and there and, and dash has been I was I was losing control of, out of dash first I, I, I've, I've lost control of that months ago I still haven't got control back on it so um, 
And then with other ones, that just that, that's just a little strategy I have just in case markets just shoot up way too fast. That's number one. Reason number two, so I call that the help me reason. Reason number two is the new cross, which I was, was ex executed today for the first time. A new cross is when I take X amount of theta. I take it from my hardware wallet, and I did that today. And then I sell it on the market. And then I buy a coin that I'm not, but I now will continue on starting now trading with theta. That was DGB. So I, what I did is I sold that X amount of theta for Bitcoin on Binance. Then I bought that amount on DGB. And I withdrew that amount and put it in my hardware wallet. And the amount that I'm allocating to theta is X. So therefore, I needed this plus that amount again just to allocate itself. And that was about 20% of my allocation of the extra funds. So I used one fifth of that extra amount that I had today to well, one tenth of it to buy DGB and one tenth of it to hold and allocate towards it. If the price of theta continues skyrocketing as I expect into five figures, I'm going to want to do the same thing again, but X will be about 0 0.8, 80%, 75% maybe of what I allocated last time. And that would go towards that of H bar, which would mean about 35 or so percent of the extras would be used and allocated. Really just half of that would be used. The other half would be allocated. And really other part of it would also, well, it would part of that against DGB would probably also uh, be taken out, meaning of that X amount anyway. So that's what I plan on doing with that, that there is adding extra funds. Now, the third thing, and I talk about this in the series that that's the Bitcoin sale. And I'm thinking and hoping that it's going to be over 20 K Satoshi for Bitcoin uh, when this happens. And that is price goes up and I can't, I'm trying to push control Z to undelete, delete this, but I don't want. Okay. So theta going up in price, 20K Satoshi. And I want to take 30% of what I originally put in, which should leave me a decent amount back when it's all said and done. And then sell it against that of Bitcoin. What I need to see is a price near 20,000 or above. I don't know if I would settle at the 1450 number. I would be or maybe not for as much of amount if I happen to unfortunately see such at the level. Probably not even still because, well, I'm, I'm look, I need higher vo high volume. But if I see high volume at like 1450, 13, one of my great teachers, or the person who basically the guy that taught me, Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends, when you see high volume, that doesn't mean you're not going to get higher volume that can surpass at the next day or the next week or something after that. But when I see the volume high, I see the price really big. I want to take that amount of uh, theta from my hardware wallet into Binance, sell it for Bitcoin. And then take that Bitcoin off of Binance and deposit it to my Bitcoin hardware wallet. So when I do that, where am I going to do it? So for every one unit of Bitcoin that I get, a unit can be a fraction, it can be over one, it could be either or. A fraction is really big these days. With that being said, if I have one unit of Bitcoin and I want to buy it back, how much do I want to buy it back with and where do I, or what price point do I want to? The first answer is how much. I'm going to keep some of it. So therefore, 20% of it, 15%, 30%, I can easily do something else I want that's not to do with data. But I want to keep at least 70% of the 
of the Bitcoin that I deposit into my wallet and allocate it towards the pullback. And I want to buy twice on my pullback. Markets oftentimes come back to where they came from. And I and, and they can be very wild and aggressive. I've 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 been around the territory a few times as far as seeing these charts. I've seen a thing or two. I know how the story goes or how the story has went. And will the story continue to play the same? We'll see. But it's going to go down after these great moves. That's a gimme. And it's going to go down harshly. And it, it's just what it does. So what I want, this is why the 20 number, and it's really, I have really 23, 22, 25 is where I really want to get this because I want over 50% off on my first buy. And I want to buy back at 10,000. Half of what I'm going to buy here. So I'll buy half at 10K. And then between five and 6,000, I'd buy the other half. Because markets oftentimes will come back to where we came from. And according to this chart, it, well, we came from about between 4,000 and 6,000. So 6,000 is your conservative buyback. And of course, what I say is going to happen actually happens. Because if it goes to... 14,000, 18,000, and if this isn't the top, that's not going to happen. It ain't going to play itself out. But what happens if I say what happens doesn't happen because 23K ain't a top? Well, if I'm going to want to put in uh, that of about 30% originally into selling against Bitcoin, which I did, and I'm already used 20% of it with an allocation for DGB, which means I probably use about 15% for H bar. That means I got one third left of what I allocated. Sweet. So what's double the price of what I buy it from? Uh, my buy price times two. So once that number comes in and it's nicely above that number, I'll sell again. So if I sell it, say, 23K Satoshi, double that is 46. I got to go well, well north of 50, probably even 60. And at that point, I'll sell some more. Four, if I sell at 23 and the price continues to go up and say it tops at 41, which means 44, 45, whatever, doesn't get to that number. What's the chances in my mind, do I think, that if 44 is the top, that we're going to pierce below 23 and noticeably well? Well, if we're going to get to 23 after starting from like 1,200, um, yeah, that, no, this is just, just uh, see here for a second. Thirty-seven. I mean, it would always hit 76. I mean, it's just, it always happens. Those pure pullbacks of great, great degrees always take place. It's, and what I really get enthusiastic about this is, is that this is going on in theta where the rest of the market ain't really doing too much. So what would be very ideal is for this to finish off with a nice, I mean, this is what I'm hoping, of course, for a blow-off rally on theta, like 24,000, 25,000 in the next, like, 20 days or so. And then have a pullback where the rest of everything still continues to do a bunch of nothing. But even better yet, maybe have one of those spots where you get into a stage of like a big dartboard rally afterwards, after the fact. But so everything else does nothing. And so Theta pulls back and, and then it does its correctionary thing kind of deal. And amongst this, I get my buybacks and other coins, of course, just doing its choppy thing. Maybe some of them going down, but not at the same rate or going up, which is even better. And then at this point, maybe a dartboard rally will start and this will start going up. And the other ones, maybe hopefully other coins will have pre, maybe one coin will pre, uh, 
have a pre-move before the other. And oftentimes that will be the case in some cases, but uh, that makes no sense. Anyway, uh, I'm getting tired. I got to complete this video now and go and go to bed for the rest of the night. And well, no, night's over. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye bye.